know what's your take on how our country can come together to safeguard American lives um, with some responsible gun ownership regulations and laws? Were you finished now? Yes. Is that your question? Yes, that's my question. Um, we know that what we're seeing today, and you can almost you can almost set your clock by, you know, like when I'm you know 24/7 fitness in our neighborhood in Southeast Portland. Early morning. Everybody's working out. And there's some tragedy on some school back east, and everybody stops and is upset for 15, 20 minutes and goes right back to it. But we're getting numb to this, and we can't get numb. We are better than this. Let me kind of walk through a couple of kind of points. First, we really did have a breakthrough in the last Congress with the common sense gun safety bill. There were people who said, hey, the problem is guns. And there were people who said, hey, the problem is mental health. And there were a bunch of us who said, we can do better on both. And I really commend my Republican colleagues, people like John Cornyn in Texas, who really led the effort to beefing up the background checks get some of these background checks, I think, to make a difference. And then I'm very proud that my great uncle, my Republican compatriot on the Finance Committee, he and I wrote the mental health provisions. The Republicans and Democrats and senior leadership said, my great uncle and I have got the black letter tax ready to go. There was Medicaid, you know, help in the schools to try to identify these kids that were having mental health challenges. Uh, there was help with telemedicine. It was really important for young people to do counseling. Uh, there was behavioral health assistance. We need more folks working in mental health. We had one of those students ask that terrific question. A young woman in the blue shirt asked a good question about community colleges and salaries and stuff. Mental health, we desperately need mental health people. And Connie and Steve Ballmer, Connie is a doc, Steve Ballmer worked on the early days of you know, Microsoft, found a great behavioral health program. We funded um, a number of uh, educational programs in that area. So we're going to need to work on all sides, keeping guns out of hands and people who shouldn't have them, and mental health efforts as well. And I don't have to know any more about the six year old and everybody else in the room, because I've been having town meetings and I've read it. paper like all of you. But something's really out of whack when we got six year olds having guns like that. And it has nothing to do with Democrats and Republicans, folks. Something is really out of whack, and we got to figure out how to reduce the likelihood, the prospect, the numbers that we're seeing here. I don't think anybody is suggesting there is one thing that will take care of it all. We can do a lot better than this. 